For today's Peachtree tip, we're going to talk about memorized transactions. Memorized transactions are different from recurring transactions because recurring transactions happen on a set schedule. But memorized transactions are templates that can be used at any time to automate entering new transactions. If you go to the Maintain menu and choose Memorized Transaction, you will see that you can use memorized transactions for quotes, sales invoices, purchase orders, payments, or general journal entries. For this example, we will create a memorized sales invoice. The first field is the transaction ID. Like all IDs in Peachtree, it has to be unique and no more than 20 characters. Next, enter a short description. After that, it's just like entering a regular invoice, except you only enter the information that will be the same each time you use this to create a new invoice. As an example, let's say we offer a discount on bird seed when you buy a bird feeder at the same time. So, we'll enter a quantity and an item ID for the bird feeder. Then go to the next line and enter a quantity and the ID for the bird seed. Then we'll change the price to $15 and click Save. Now that we've created a memorized transaction, let's use it to create a new invoice. Click on Sales Invoice. Then click on the down arrow next to the List button and choose Select. Find the Memorize Invoice we just created and double click on it. You can see that everything is automatically entered on the invoice exactly as it was on the Memorize transaction. Now we'll fill in a customer ID, and if we need to add or edit anything else, we can do that now. Then you can print or save the invoice just like you normally would. There's a second way to create a memorized invoice. You can start in the invoicing screen. You can do the same thing with quotes, purchase orders, or whatever type of transaction you need to memorize. Let's keep working with this invoice. We'll add a birdhouse and include a nice message. And we can remove the customer ID if we need to and then click the down arrow next to the Save button and choose Memorize. That will put us back at the same screen we saw before. We'll give it a new ID and description and then click Save. And that's all there is to using Memorize Transactions.